Singapore and Brunei are set to work together more closely in the agri-food sector. Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien says this will improve food security and economic growth for both countries. He was speaking to CNA at the end of a four-day visit to Brunei. Vanessa Lin with more. Around 3,000 tons of fish and shrimp are processed at this facility each year. Almost 80% are exported to countries like China and Thailand. The founder of the company is from Taiwan, but decided to move to Brunei to grow his aquaculture business. Brunei actually is very suitable for this aquaculture and also marine catch. Then because Brunei is a very clean country, its environment is good for this industry. And the most important is the government is very, very supportive for uh, this industry. Uh, such like they provide a very excellent land and also provide the infrastructure. The company is also part of a growing number of foreign investments pouring into Brunei as the country moves to expand its agricultural sector. In 2017, the country's gross agricultural output reached nearly $380 million, up from just over $290 million in 2013. It comes as the government pledges more support for farmers and opens up more farmland. And Singapore is looking to play a part in this, with the two countries forming a working group to explore ways to create jobs and more investments. Brunei has uh, been very active in promoting this as a new area uh, for its economic growth and development, to make good use of the land, the, the good resources that it has, and uh, to see how they can grow this as a new area of export growth as well. And this ties in very well with what we also have in mind, which is food security as well as to uh, address the agri-food uh, industry in Singapore. Meanwhile, Singaporean aquaculture firms are already looking to Brunei's shores to expand their businesses. Barramundi Asia will develop a 6,000 hectare fish farm in Brunei and export about 40,000 tons of fish to Singapore. Apollo Aquaculture will also set up a high-tech farm in Brunei, which is expected to start operations late next year. They are actually benefiting uh, Bruneians in providing good jobs and providing new export market. At the same time, uh, it's a way for them to get scale for their business. And that will benefit Singapore, Singaporeans too. Because as they get scaled, the cost of food, the cost of production also will also go down. Mr. Masagos and Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien were in Brunei to attend the seventh Young Leaders Program. Apart from agriculture, the two sides will explore new areas of cooperation, including fintech and education. They will also continue to strengthen existing ones like defense. Now, the four-day visit, which has come to an end, is part of an annual exchange between the two countries to strengthen bilateral relations.